Um, great. So, uh, quick stream. I just wanted to check this out here and on on LinkedIn. Usually, I'm on my uh, on my YouTube channel, Plumbers of Data Science. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just I want to come uh, come on more often on LinkedIn. A lot of people are here on LinkedIn, and now that LinkedIn finally has the um, has the live streaming for me. <laughs> uh, audio is good. Everything's great. Okay. That's nice. Um, yeah, I thought, uh, uh, let's, let's quickly get on here. And, uh, in the, in the past week I have been adding to my data engineering cookbook. I have been adding books. Uh, I was just thinking about what books should I, uh, should I, um, add here so i just added the books that i have and that i like very much and what i actually like um, and what have helped me a lot are not uh, technical books uh, a lot have uh, books that help me a lot are uh, business books who thought of this um, for me is uh, innovation is for me is very important and um, and basically creating something new and therefore I am um, so my my favorite four books I don't know if you guys have this um, my favorite one of my favorite books is zero to one from Peter Thiel it's a very good book um, the essence of this and this why I why I like this book is it's all about the idea that uh, most of the stuff we're doing uh, within industries within um, within large corporations or sometimes even startups uh, a lot of things we're doing is not jumping from uh, zero from there's nothing to one uh, a lot of times we are starting with something that is already there and we're making it better there are no new ideas um, zero to one in essence is the idea behind all this and behind innovation and yeah make creating something is going from zero to one from there's nothing it's was something completely new uh it, yeah nothing to something completely new very interesting book um yeah i like this a lot i like this a lot so uh yeah how's how's that on your side Anybody uh, read this book? Um, be very interesting. I like it a lot. So this is on my on my top list here. Um, uh, the second book I have um, is from is the Innovators Dilemma from uh, Clayton M. Christensen. I like this book a lot. Um, it's uh, there are a lot of examples where like the the soft uh, like the, the hardware um, companies uh, the the, uh, the the disk drive companies and how the innovations with uh, with the SSDs and so on uh, are yeah have developed basically they they never created something something uh, disruptive. Um, they always try to to make stuff better and not really elevate their own their their products so the idea is because within a company it's always um you have certain products that are the the golden goose they're paying the bills now today but to bring uh, on or to develop something disruptive that is just disrupting the golden goose that are that is paying the bills now is um yeah, it's usually not that not that liked and it's a very interesting topic and this book the the innovators dilemma is a very very good book about um innovation uh especially in in larger companies and w where you can see when stuff went wrong this is a, a fun book um it's very very small uh small type uh, face so <laughs> um okay so 
I'm guessing everything is good. If you, uh, by the way, I'm going through these these things, and if you have some questions around data engineering and so on, uh, post them. I'm going to answer them uh, after I went through. This is a, a new a new type of stream I'm trying. I'm going through the topics, and then I'm saving the time up for discussions, for input, for yeah, for ask me anything, and and yeah. Um, Another interesting book, I mean, this is standard liter literature, uh, The Lean Startup from Eric Ries. Very interesting. I mean, when I started uh, with the, this whole innovation and, and, and stuff, um, I didn't really have an idea of how all this is working out. And um, yeah, the idea behind, uh, there are a lot of good ideas in The Lean Startup. One of the best ideas um that has helped me a lot in in that is in the lean startup is this idea of a constantly um, improving a product like um, you have a product out and you're measuring basically what are people doing and then you are creating actions from that and then you're improving your system or you yeah, improving your product and then you are uh, going around and um putting it into production, measuring again. And so you're, you're taking loops of, uh, of, uh, yeah, always making the product better and better. And he, there are, uh, this book is, is awesome. It's a great book. It's a great book. I'm not sure if the, are the comments running? No. Hmm. It's very strange. I'm not sure if I need to let the the I need to ask Kate about this. If I need to let the image run so that the comments are coming in. <laughs> very strange. Um, um yeah, those are three books. Um the fourth one that I absolutely like is uh, Crossing the Chasm. Is a <laughs> look at this here. Green stream green screen is working um crossing the chasm is very interesting um about disruptive products and so on and the the idea is or, or some, one of the ideas is you're starting somewhere here and you are creating your product and you have some first adopters but what you want to do is with your product you want to get into this this uh mainstream zone Let's call it mainstream zone. So uh, very interesting, very interesting book. Uh, absolutely worth reading. Um, yeah, there are a lot of a lot of good strategies and ideas in this crossing the chasm. Uh, it's all it's also in the in the data engineering cookbook. I have created a whole section on this. You can check this out. Um, if you want to buy a book, uh, please use that link because I'm getting a affiliate commission for that absolutely free for you but it helps the channel um i actually i wrote down in the in the description four books i have another book that i absolutely like um let me see if i can bring this up um strange why doesn't that work um So the f no, somehow my monitor isn't working. Uh, so the fourth one is from Gary Vaynerchuk is uh, Crush It. It's one of his first books. I think it w was it his first book. Very interesting book about how to go on this whole building a business and and doing um, online marketing and yeah the ideas behind all this and building a a. Yeah, building an income online, I would say, or building a business online. Super interesting. Um, I have the audiobook. I don't have the book, the hardcover or the, the paperback. I have the uh, audiobook. Very interesting, I have to tell you. Very interesting. Um, the list of all the books is on my cookbook. It's um, You can go to my website. And there you find the 
there you find a link to the cookbook. Uh, the cookbook is on GitHub. Uh, I can. Do I have it here? No. Mm. I should have prepared this a bit better. Um, where is it? That's not it. Here. This one. Here is it. Um, second link is a direct link to the cookbook. Cookbook is uh, I'm I'm constantly adding new stuff and this is also why I'm uh, what I'm going to do on the on the um, on my YouTube channel where I'm streaming most of the time I'm uh, I'm talking about the topics in the cookbook and that I'm adding to the cookbook I'm co I'm always adding new stuff it's it's not a finished book um, yeah. Uh, so Lapo, I think this uh, this should help. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, just I uh, want to make this a a quick stream. Um, that's already it. If there are no more questions, um, we are going to finish for the day, and I'm going to set up some some new stuff for tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to stream a lot often. A lot more often I was uh, in the past I I usually stream three times uh, three times a week um, I made some changes to the whole setup and bought a new computer and the green screen and so on and this took some time and now but now I'm getting back into the schedule of, of streaming and so on and you can find this uh, this the recording of this and everything else on my uh, on my YouTube channel Plumbers of data science. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for being here. Uh, hope this was a bit helpful. And bye-bye. See you next time.